hi y'all. Please ignore little Milo's tail. <laughs> but I just wanted to share with you guys some tips on how to really make your Procreate experience a lot easier. So I'm just gonna show you guys some tips and techniques that I use that really make Procreate super easy. So today we are gonna cover alpha lock, clipping masks, layer masks, and a reference layer. So let's get right into it. So what is a mask? A mask is a non-destructive way to modify a layer. This means that you can make changes to a design without affecting the original layer. This is going to create a larger margin for errors. It's going to allow you to make changes and it's going to allow you to undo mistakes without affecting the original layer. The goal when you're working on any Procreate illustration should be to work non-destructively. So there are three types of masks in Procreate and which one you choose is gonna entirely depend on personal preference and project needs. The first one is Alpha Lock. So let's say I wanted to make some changes to this layer, but I didn't want to work outside of the lines. I'm gonna engage Alpha Lock. So you can either do it by taking two fingers and swiping to the right. And you can tell it's engaged when there's a little grid behind this thumbnail or you can click once on the layer and click alpha lock. So I'm gonna select a brush from my mini brush pack, which you can download for free on my website and I will link that below. And I'm gonna select the noise texture brush. Then I'm just gonna to start to color in some areas. And as you can see, anything that I'm doing to this layer is gonna stay within its lines. It's not going anywhere into the background. It's staying just in the area that I've colored. Now the issue with alpha lock is that it's not exactly non-destructive. It works within the same layer. So if I don't like something I've added and I want to erase it, it's going to erase the actual layer. Alpha lock should mainly be used when you're worried about your layer count. So this just means if you're running out of layers and you have to work in the same one, that's when you can use alpha lock. Otherwise, I use a clipping mask. So clipping mask works pretty much the same way as alpha lock, but instead of working within one layer, it's going to create a completely separate layer that you can then edit and change and undo mistakes without affecting the layer underneath it. So to use it, I'm gonna tap this plus sign right here and create a new layer, and then I'm gonna click that layer and select clipping mask. You can know it's engaged when there's a little arrow pointing down to the layer below it. Now I'm gonna select the color block brush from my mini brush palette, and I'm just gonna start filling in colors in this layer. As you can see, it's doing the exact same thing as alpha lock. It's keeping whatever I draw inside the lines of the layer underneath it. You can make changes and edits to this clipping mask layer, and it won't affect the circle that's underneath it. So I'm gonna select liquify here and show you guys what you can do within this layer. Now, let's say I have an outline like this and I wanna fill it in. I could work in the same layer and drag and drop colors directly onto it, but then I won't be able to make changes to this layer without affecting the outline. I'm gonna create a reference layer. So I'm gonna simply click on my layer and select reference, and then I'm gonna open up a layer underneath it. Now I can drag and drop colors onto the screen, but it's going to stay in a completely separate layer from this one. If I wanna keep these two parts separately, I can simply open up another layer and do the same thing. The last thing I'm gonna show you is a layered mask. Now, let's say I want to erase or make changes to a certain part of this layer, but I wanna work non-destructively. I'm gonna create a layer mask by selecting the layer and clicking mask. So as you can see, I have a layer mask open above my orange layer. So I'm gonna be able to make changes to that orange layer. And the way I'm gonna do it is either by selecting a black or a white. By selecting a black, this is going to allow me to erase parts of this layer 
and by selecting white, it's going to allow me to fill it back in, all without affecting the layer underneath it. Now, you can also work in shades of gray, and this is just gonna change the opacity of what you are erasing. So remember, white is going to add, and black is going to take. To hide it, just simply pick the box. I hope you guys found this helpful. These tricks really have saved me so much time and just make my whole procreate process that much more efficient. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna link that brush down below, so make sure you, you download it and get your free brush pack. And I'll see you guys next time.